providing tax credits to uncompetitive businesses to come into the state of Florida is just bad business, and it's bad politics, and it's bad for Florida consumers. It's bad business because when you subsidize a company that is uncompetitive or an industry that is uncompetitive at the expense of those that are competitive, you're, you're, not, you're not creating an efficient marketplace. In the state of Florida today, the cheapest possible energy is coal and natural gas. And what we're doing by, by diversifying our energy supply in this bill is actually bringing more expensive energy into the state of Florida, which is going to make ultimately the consumer suffer. The Crony Energy Bill would hand over $100 million over the next five years to politically connected companies, politically connected industries that are selling us energy that is far more expensive than the energy we would otherwise be purchasing. This bill would be supported by the occupiers, uh, Valerie Jarrett, Van Jones, Obama, uh, Lenin, Stalin, Mao, Castro, Communist, fascist, socialist, whatever you want to call it, it's the government taking over. It's the government picking the winners and losers. Even though it looks pretty on the outside, it's the way our country is being destroyed right now. The government is the one who destroyed the housing market. They got involved with free enterprise. Am I right? I'm a beginner political activist, and I can understand it. Karen explained it to me last night. Government, get out of our, our lives. Obama is doing this. His, his, I call it communism. Others call it fascism. But uh, I've had enough of it. And, and, and it's based on the green agenda, which is fake. It's based on fake science. Okay, Read this book, The Greatest Hoax, by Senator Inhofe, or Einhoff, how do you say it? This has every detail of how this fake science, oh, you know who else likes this? The United Nations. Agenda 21, okay? Freedom people, wake up!